I have to say it's really it's really exciting to be finally able after almost 10 years uh, in Sudan to be able to explore the last frontiers and the last uh, unexplored place in Sudan. This is my fourth year in Sudan. Yeah, we love the place. It's very, very safe for us to travel to, very easy to get to. And um, yeah, yeah, very, very, very cool spending time here. You honestly can't describe the beauty of it. When you see one of these atolls coming over the horizon, you get closer and closer and closer, and then all of a sudden it's right there. What an adventure. My heartbeat, I can actually feel it and hear it. But as we progress in the trip, it, the scenery just got crazier and crazier. You can't describe it. It's, it's something you have to actually see to believe. It's just, I don't know, it's like a natural beauty that I've never seen before. It's like the Great Barrier Reef, but levels above, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I think Sudan this, uh, these days is still one of the most uh, pristine and uh, untouched and wild place that you can uh, that you can find uh, around the world I've been lucky enough to to come here when I was uh, just a little bit more than a kid so I never realized how how lucky I've been and as I start to travel the world in uh, in different destinations and um, I slowly realize how still untouched this place is So going to this trip, I didn't really expect much. What I really wanted is to spend time with these two Aussie boys who uh, we only got a chance to kind of fish with for a few days when we visited Australia. So being with them on, on a boat in the Red Sea for like basically two weeks was something that I was definitely looking forward to and then learning some of their trades and how they fish because the salt is really their home whereas I grew up in the uh, cornfields of, of Illinois fishing freshwater uh, largemouth bass. To be honest, I really don't know what to expect. I, I've had a look at the maps, we've had a look at Google Earth, and we've had a good look at where we're going to go and explore. And the sand flats is really what's got me excited. Those little islands down south are just full, full, full of trigger fish. The one thing that keeps coming up is the world-class fly fishing flats. I mean, as apart from the, the permit and the giant sweet lips and, and those crazy fish that you can target out here, this is by far the craziest trigger fishery I've ever seen. It's the trigger fish capital of the universe. And I end up busting. Ain't made it all of you bucket heads and you went to thugs. I'm quick to touch, so I'm sick of muscles. I'm here for trouble. I pick up the world and I drop it. Bitch, you is my hustle. I'm out of my mind, my brain out of control. I'ma blow on a bead like you, powder your nose. And body give me the sense with a lot of destruction. But my mama love me anyway, so you can't tell me nothing. Ain't I so fucking disrespectful? Aim it with a 38 special, I may bless you. Moving with a crew of deceptives and an SU. V, I'm very sure that you will lose you to my testers. I direct my root just like a Tesla. Next up, push me to the clip, you might get S'd up Extra, ammo for the daddles, no you F'd up I'ma get the whole thing, we applying pressure Yeah, I'ma make noise in the street Please, all that fake love you can keep Please, you can't fuck with my energy You can't fuck with my energy Sheesh, I'ma make noise in the street Please, all that fake love you can keep Please, you can't fuck with my energy You can't fuck with my energy I love you, you beautiful little bastard. A lot on my mind, no bother. 
heavily with the bull I'm plotting until it's mine, need profit to fill a pool They talking like I'm a slip, they been a hater, the kid I'm incinerating the split, I renovated the stigma The shit they say is a bit. I step on them like a signal My blessing just got delivered, the pessimist looking sick of these demons It's on my nerves, they heard that I'm about to get it Running shit since the curb and I ain't close to being winded Posted in the east, trying to give a better way out Dope on the beat just to see how much it weigh out Wrapped on the street, but I crush it in LA now Got the family going up cause they stay down Held my faith round, now shit immaculate People bragging about me used to say couldn't imagine it Now when they ask for shit, I answer with imagine if And when they try to reach me, we gon' see how far that ladder gets Please, I'ma make noise in the street Please, all that fake love you can keep Please, you can't fuck with my energy You can't fuck with my energy Please, I'ma make noise in the street Please, all that fake love you can keep Please, you can't fuck with my energy You can't fuck with my energy Mission So strangely Sudan has a reputation of a dangerous country but uh, I was telling everyone that I knew how nervous I was. I was making backup plans in case anything went wrong. And now that I'm here, I, I just I don't know what I was worried about. Smooth sailing. It's very breezy. You know, we, we flew in from uh, Chicago to Dubai, Dubai to Port Sudan, and took like a, a 30-minute bus ride to this boat that we're on right now. So it was very chill. In the diving industry, it's 40 years that people come, maybe more, maybe 50 years that people come to Sudan for diving. And it's very, very well known and, uh, and renowned. And um, so 5,000 divers a year come to Sudan. Well, I come here with expectations of catching massive topwater doggies and GTs and humphead and Mary Rass, but the flats fishing was so good, you couldn't get me off there. I was that addicted to the flats fishing, but we scratched the surface enough to get me wanting to come back here and spend a whole heap of time on some of the best water I've ever seen for topwater. When niggas are rap, you can put it on for the stat, killing and track. Wag niggas wanna act pack a trap, rat is clapping back, trap is stacking cash, master cat, the last act, your back, your back, that's the habitat. Quick fast, so no nigga won't make it. Oh, shit, quick, cause he ain't in no station. Bitch, act like he ain't in rotation. The Swiss tracks when you're in your location. Three times in the Liverpool Christmas. Got ain't able to live in no spaces. Explain why she's in the location. Got your baby mom on the give a go basis. Some new, really, really great friendships forged, and I think, uh, yeah, it's going to be fantastic to get another cooperative uh, between the different nations and have the Aussie boys back and the Americans back, and yeah, it'll be fantastic to do something in the future. And it has been very interesting and uh, adventurous. Like we've been at sea for two weeks without encountering nobody. 
We've explored from the southern parts of the Red Sea to part of the Nubian Flats in the north and have, a, have an adventure of a lifetime. So the Red Sea is incredible. It's, it's a place that I suggest people come and visit at least once in a lifetime because it's unlike any other fishery I've ever been to. I'd love to come back here. Sudan and the Red Sea was just absolutely unbelievable.